Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Olivia Howarth. I am a makeup enthusiast, makeup holder, whatever you like to call me, <laughs> and I am a video editor. If you'd like me to edit your YouTube videos, hit me up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today is a long-awaited video because I'm finally going to be organizing and decluttering my makeup. Um, my drawers of makeup are a mess right now. Um, I tried to rearrange them like a week ago, just in like my personal time, and I made a bigger mess. <laughs> so I was like, wait, let me just wait till I have time to film. And then I'll do it with you guys because I don't know about you, I can spend an hour watching decluttering videos. I'm absolutely in love with them. I love decluttering makeup videos. They just hit differently. So today that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be decluttering all my drawers of makeup. I don't know if this will fit in one video. It's going to be a really long video. Um, I, have, I need to declutter my foundation drawer, my lipsticks, my foundations, I've already said that, <laughs> lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, everything. Um, so if you'd like to see my makeup collection and how I'm decluttering it, keep on watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll mean a lot to me if you would subscribe and join my YouTube community. <laughs> okay, anyways guys, let's get into the declutter of my drawers. That sounded wrong. My makeup declutter. Just just go. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the top of my dresser at the moment. As you can see, cluttered, not like I want it. <laughs> and then over here is like where all my makeup is, if I can show you, just down there. These drawers are just like random drawers in my house that I painted white. Um, if I could get the Alex drawers in South Africa, I would. Okay, like all cleaning videos or decluttering videos, I am first going to take everything out and then reorganize it. I'm probably going to leave this a drawer as skincare and then this drawer is only going to be primers and um, foundations and powders maybe because this is currently highlighters, bronzers, blushes, everything in between. So I'm probably going to change that. <laughs> so let's get started. Cute time lapse. Okay, that is the drawer clean. Now, as I said before, I only want this drawer or this part of the drawer to be foundations, primers, and maybe setting um, powders. So, because I have way too many contour highlights and blushes to be all in there now. So, let's get to that. And I'll let you guys know, like, my favorites and everything like that. Okay, here's just some of uh, my foundations. Next, Turtle Control Cover Drops. Don't really like that one, to be honest. Um, Insta Perfect, don't really like that one. I bought these with my money, so I like to keep them even though I don't really like them. And I don't really know anyone as pale as me, so I can't even give it to my friends. Yardley Foundation, love it. But dark for me. Revlon Color Stay, my new fave. It's a bit dirty, actually. Let me clean this one as well. There we go, she's looking much better. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to sort this out yet bear with and here's just some primers i'm loving this is my fave vitamin c by the water shop um mac strobe cream and then this one the rose glow it's almost finished it's like one use so i'm just gonna keep it for now um other primers mattifying primer by pretty by flora another body shop insta glow oh i have this BB cream um, by Scarlet Hill. It does not match me, but it matches no one in my family either because it's basically orange. So I'm just going to keep it because <laughs> uh, I don't want to throw stuff like that away. This Revlon Candid Foundation has like one pump left in it, but I'm just going to keep it in there for now. These concealers are finished, but this one, they're basically like basically done, but I can't get rid of them because I still need concealer. So I'm scraping the tube. Um, and need to get more after lockdown. That's my contour shade. I'm just gonna put in there eyeshadow base, which I just keep in there because it's kind of the same. Uh, my Urban Decay Self Adjusting Primer. It's an okay primer. Um, this one I love more. 
Oh, um, Essence Camouflage Turn One Makeup and Concealer. Love this stuff. Love it. It's so cheap. Um, most of the stuff I can't really like stand up, so which which is why I'm just lying in on the side. Um, this Freedom Pro Studio Strobe Cream. Oh my gosh, I just dropped it. This is kind of like it's as it says the strobe cream. Um, I like the Mac one more, but I keep it because you never know. <laughs> This is an Essence Dewy Look Stick. It's kind of just like a, it makes your foundation dewy. So it's kind of, if you have a really matte foundation, you can mix this in with it and it makes it dewy, which is nice. Um, this Essence Contour Stick, throw that in there. Love a bit of that. I have this Love Cover Story Serum um, full, con full Coverage Concealer. This is completely the wrong shade, but I haven't given it to any of my friends yet. So I have, what is this? Rinsing multi stick. I have I've probably used this once. Um, it's a nice kind of bron. Maybe I should use that more, but I don't know how it like blends. This is supposed to be a decluttering as well. I'm supposed to be getting rid of stuff, <laughs> and I've kept everything so far. Um, but that looks so nice. I'll keep it for now. <laughs> um, I will be getting rid of this glamour. This is what I got in like a back of a magazine. I mean, I'll give that to my sister or someone because... Oh, then I also forgot about my anti-red concealer. This is my green concealer for color correcting. Um, and then I also really like putting my liquid highlighters in with my foundations because I mostly mix them in. I never put them straight on my face. Okay, and then my powders. I don't have many powders actually, so I might just squeeze them in the straw. I have this Mag Magic Mark powder by Avon. I don't like this powder. It makes me crease. Oh my gosh, this Fit Me powder. It has like zetting spray all over it. It's the wrong shade for me. Um, so I'm going to give that to my sister. Or anyone that wants it. And then I'm still holding on to this Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. I put it in my empties video, but as you can see, there's still powder in it. So I'm just going to finish the rest of that because we are in lockdown. And I can't buy more, so I'm holding on to it. All, this, all these things that I'm keeping, like this foundation or the concealer... I would have thrown away already, but I'm holding on to it, squeezing out it, cutting it up to get the last out of it in lockdown. <laughs> okay, so that is the first drawer. I don't want it cluttered like it was before, and that looks so much better. Um, this doesn't look great, though. Um, this is probably, it's not going to look aesthetically pleasing to most of you guys, because this is, like, drawers that I've made into, like, makeup drawers. It's not, I don't have, like, the money to go and get like um custom made drawers all those acrylic things are quite expensive in south africa i know like overseas they're quite cheap but really if i had to buy them on amazon in south africa it would be like a thousand rand from all of these drawers so that's just not what i want to spend money on really okay so as you can see it's kind of neatly kind of organized now <laughs> My concealers are here, my primers are here, my standing foundations are here, my more primer kind of vibe, and then my powder. <laughs> and then this over here is just my skincare and my deodorant. Um, yeah, and some setting spray in here as well. All my setting sprays are here because that's kind of skincare, kind of. Okay, guys, this is my eyeshadow drawer. I'm actually considering moving this one up and then have my lipsticks in this position if you know what i mean um this is quite organized already kind of not really <laughs> but I, I have all my eyeshadow palettes here and i kind of just flick through them um i kind of like that technique um so that's kind of working the bigger palettes i have over here with some smaller palettes i don't really use which i can probably get rid of um this essence eyeshadow i've had for ages never used it um I, I do want to keep the smoky one, this Quatrice one, because it's a really, really nice, like, smoky glam palette. Like, it has everything you need. And I think these I'll just get rid of and give to people that want them. I do have some palettes of mine just lying around my room, which I need to pack back. So I just kind of slot them in wherever I think they will um, fit. I normally put smaller palettes in the front, um, and I try to keep brands together. So these two here are my Scarlet Hill brands. And I'll just slot in there. Um, this one's too big to stand up like that. So I just put it in the back here. And then I have my Soap palette that I slot in there with all my Makeup Revolution palettes. If I can 
can't make the room. For some reason it's not fitting. Why is nothing fitting? Okay, let me just reorganize this. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a bit of like Jenga, not Jenga, I don't know. I had to like slot it in. Um, so here are all my Makeup Revolution palettes. Um, and there are two others here. These are NYX. Um, this is Colourpop Brunch Date. Then over here I have a small Smashbox, a small Pretty by Flora. Um, I'm going to squeeze in there again. Then I have a Freshini palette, their own brand. And, um, Urban Decay palette. Random brand, don't know. <laughs> um, Smashbox Fall Exposure Palette. I love that palette. I didn't really like it at the start of getting it, but I do like it now. And then, as I said, Scarlet Heel and that Cartrice one. So, yeah. And then back here, just Zara Cosmetics. Um, Fushini Palette again. And then a Freedom one. That's really big, but good if I want to do someone else's makeup. Um, over here is single eyeshadows and glitters. I organized this recently. So it shouldn't be that dirty, but it is. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quickly organize it all again. Um, I don't, I really like eyeshadows, so I don't really get rid of many eyeshadows. <laughs> Okay, that's how the best it's gonna get. <laughs> I have a whole drawer of lipsticks here, whereas in reality, I could probably just organize them all to go into this one little slot. Okay guys, if the lighting has changed, that is because it's gone time, like past 12, so the sunshine kind of leaves my room, <laughs> the sun. Um, so I put on my ring light, so sorry if there's weird shadows, that's all I can do really. But as you can see, I finished all of my lipsticks, all my lipsticks are now jam-packed, that's a bit messy, um, in here. Because they were just kind of like rolling around and I wanted them more like packed in there, so I can just reach in and grab it. Um, I can't really see the colors, but I know what colors I have in each brand. So, for example, these are my MAC lipsticks. I can't really see the color, but I know I have, um, I actually have three MAC lipsticks, so I don't know where I need to find my other one. <laughs> but I know I have two nudes in MAC and one red, so, like, it'll be easy for me to pick out. If I had a bigger collection, it would be harder for me to find the shades, but then most of the other shades I have, you, I can see the color and I can easily pick them. Um, and this is liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip lacquers, all mixed into one. But as I said before, I want to put my blushes and bronzers here. I moved the lipstick up, so now this is the second drawer, and my eyeshadows are the last drawer, which kind of makes more sense. Um, let's get packing the bronzers into destroyer i've just realized my music is still playing so if you can hear that i'm sorry i i had music playing and now i forgot to turn off so enjoy niall horan singing in the background <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put all my um highlighting palettes slash bronzing palettes um at the start i think i do have quite a lot of highlighters that is because i'm obsessed with highlighters and i buy highlighters highlighters <laughs> i buy them and i realize um 
some of them are too dark for me so that's why i have a lot this is like a contour and highlighter palette this makeup revolution one is absolutely gorgeous but it's too dark actually i can only use that one but i still keep it in case i want to do someone else's makeup i have this really old makeup revolution one this is like the first kind of highlighting contouring palette i got so i'm going to keep that for nostalgia reasons um i think i'm gonna get rid of this essence one i have this forever i have two of these uh, metallic chrome blushes i don't even know why they're called blushes because they are kind of highlighters but they're even like too dark for me so i kind of use them for um for highlighters and eyeshadows because like who can put that on their skin as a highlighter don't think me but i just keep it in this and then this one is actually really pretty but as i said i use them more for eyeshadows um this Catrice strobing gel highlighter it's a jelly highlighter i don't really use it but it's very you know it's one of those things where it's like cool to have <laughs> and then this makeup revolution one is so old actually probably not old it's probably like two years old um it just gives such a nice like subtle pink glow and it's it's very nice like look how pretty that is and then i just have these um glow pulls so i have the a1 glow pulls i actually you need to remember to use these um because they're stunning they just give a nice glow and then i have donna this is a, a fashion brand that came out with makeup um it's very pretty i should use it more comes with a nice powder puff i use this for a more body kind of shimmer okay then i have the scarlet Teal dream blush palette it has a highlighter in there so i'm just gonna put that in with its other its other friend i'm just gonna put my hula bronzer in here and my essence luminous mac i love this it's basically a dupe it's a lot lighter it's actually the right shade for me hula um normal is actually a bit too dark but i still use it i'm just gonna pop that over there and then i actually don't have a lot of blushes um quite a little actually yeah i have a few more like um testers that i got and i'm just gonna put all the blushes in the back here because as i said i'm not that much of a blush fan i am getting into it more but um but i only have a few this is a bobby brown one i got in actually a hamper um, that i won i won a lot of like beauty hampers and i won this bobby brown blush besides from a lipstick um it's the only bobby brown product i have highlighter bronzers as you can see i would rather look a nice bronze goddess than like a little peachy kind of blush moment um i have this one from cargo but it's way too old um it's a pretty blush but i think i should get rid of it i was gonna get rid of this cargo blush but oh, it's actually so pretty i just swatched it i'm just gonna keep it <laughs> as you can see i i stick to mainly pink blushes um this is like a more corally brush blush but mainly pink kind of blushes i stick to because i think those are best on me i should probably go into more peachiness i do feel like i'm missing some stuff but that is it for now um let's see if the straw closes <laughs> Oh, it does not. Actually, this is a baked blush and highlighter, so I'll put this by my blushes. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I have my palettes here. I have my circular kind of compact highlighters. Um, and then all my square kind of compact, packed <laughs> um, highlighters are here. Jelly highlighter, bronzer, and then some pulls. I just forgot this is actually a blush palette um it says contouring blush palette but it's mainly just i can't contour with any of those things so i'll put that over here um i should actually just get like a normal palette like a magnetic palette to put these sample um kind of tester things that i got but um i can't get that now so <laughs> we'll just have to make do oh i have a few other bits I forgot. Um, this is a Catrice Glidoscope Highlighter Palette. It's like a balm kind of highlighter. Really do like it, actually. I can put that in there. I have some brow products. I normally keep my brow products with, for some reason, my my concealers and my foundations, which is really weird. 
And if you're wondering where all my mascaras, my mascaras are all in this little pot. Actually, I'm missing a few. Um, they don't all fit in here. I just kind of scrunch them in. <laughs> all my mascaras are kind of kept in this pot cup thing. Um, I have Wet n Wild. I have mascara, uh, mascara. Revolution, which is my favorite. I have the Scarlet Heel mascara is really good, actually. That's one Scarlet Heel product I actually recommend. Um, Maybelline Great Lash. Who doesn't have or didn't have that? And yeah, and then I just have a love one. Um, yeah, it's kind of just a big mishmash. And I keep all of my lip liners, eyeliners in this little cute owl. It's all just mixed mass in there. I don't have a lot of them. Um, so I just keep them all there on top of my dresser. Oh, and if I had lashes, I have one pair of lashes that I'm actually just... Um, it's on my desk right now. But if I had lashes, I do put them just on top of my eyeshadow palette at the back here. But I keep my lash glue there as well. If you're wondering what is in the last drawer, because I have four drawers. The last drawer is all my nail polishes and just random junk that... I have nowhere else to put so I won't show you that because I'm not going to clean it today. <laughs> and that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you liked it. Leave it in the comments down below. Have you decluttered your makeup recently? Or was it looking like mine before? <laughs> um, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Thank you so so much for watching. Remember to have a good all week, night, day, month, year, wherever you are. And I'll see you next week with another video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye!